Let's start with a case. A 17-year-old woman is evaluated for the absence of Menarche. She has undergone minimal breast development. Her medical history is unremarkable and she takes no medications. Physical exam is significant for short stature and a web neck, and her BMI is 21. Her vital signs and the remainder of a physical exam, including pelvic examination, are normal. Laboratory studies show a FSH hormone level of 74 milliunits per milliliter and a beta HCG level, which is undetectable. Thyroid stimulating hormone and prolactin, and prolactin levels are normal. On pelvic ultrasound, a uterus is present, but the ovaries are difficult to visualize. What is the primary diagnosis in this case? So as we go through this, we notice that she has not started her periods. She's 17 years old and has not achieved menarche. We call this primary amenorrhea. In conjunction with this, she also has some significant findings on physical exam. She has a webbed neck and a short stature. These two in conjunction with the primary amenorrhea really suggest Turner's syndrome. With this condition, you can also see hearing loss, a bicuspid aortic valve, and even aortic coarctation. Turner syndrome should be considered in women with primary or secondary amenorrhea, particularly those who have short stature and where the FSH is elevated, as in this case. The conclusion of this case is essentially to do a chromosomal workup on this patient. Clinically, we are very suspicious of Turner syndrome, but we need to confirm it by doing what's called a karyotype analysis, which will reveal the classic 45XO chromosome pattern. This is due to loss of part or all of the X chromosome.